What is up everybody, it is King Kuntha, and you're probably wondering why you're at this video, and you want to learn what the farm is about. Well, you're going to learn, if you keep watching. I'm sorry, that was the best intro I've done, and the past, like, four I've recorded, I've messed up just one way or another, so, like, that's the best you're going to get. So, let's just talk about this farm real quick. This farm is very simple, very short. The video is not going to be very long, just so you know. But, this farm... I know 100% is going to piss people off when I put this on the internet, so if you're watching this video now and debating whether or not you should do it, go do it now because this market is going to be totally ruined probably uh, once I post this video. Um, yeah, that's really all the advice I have for you. Like, I'm 100% serious, go do this now. Also, before I begin the video, I'd also like uh, to ask you guys if you guys could uh, check out the links in the description below if you guys are interested in maybe starting your own YouTube channel or actually buying Ad or Battle for Azeroth for the cheapest price possible, which I also have listed in the, de er, in the description below uh, as well. Also, when you make any purchases from any of those, it also gives me a little bit of a cutback, helps support my channel, and I also don't get to put ads on my videos so everybody's happy. And let's just go ahead and begin the video so you don't really need much all you really need is your garrison so you need to have a uh, tune with uh, leather leather working any kind of leather working tune this is actually how I found this farm out myself um, so make sure you have a leather working tune and really all you have to do is just hearth back to your capital city like I'm about to do and uh, we'll begin the farm so I'm gonna cut the video here and we'll see you at the farming location, I guess, which is really just the capital city. So just first zone back to an auction house. Okay, bye. What is up everybody? And uh, we're back after that cut. So I'm gonna teach you about the farm. Now, just so you know, this farm is uh, probably gonna get people more mad than, uh, I don't know, like want to buy gold after someone posts an exploit video. Remember that time he called all the World of Warcraft YouTubers like stupid or something? That was a funny time. Anyways. We're going to go ahead and search up one mat on our auction house because we have to do a little bit of math here to find out if this farm is profitable for us. So first things we're going to look up is raw beast hive. So I want you to go on your server or um, the undermine journal and find out how much a stack of 200 of raw beast hive goes for on your server. As you see here, it is only 200. So you can see it's not, uh, or it's only a thousand gold, which is not quite you know a lot of gold really so we can make 40 pairs of drums out of 200 raw beast hive and they do take quite a long time to make just so you know so if we go ahead and we look at how much the drums are we're gonna look here real quick one second it's called the drums of fury And one drum of fury is going for about 130 gold on my server, and the stack, and we can make 40 out of a stack of 200. So remember that. So I'm just gonna show us some math right here. So our um, stack of 200 of the mat cost us what was it? 860, 860 gold. This will all be on the screen for you guys. And we can make 400 drums of fury, which at least, or we can make 40 drums of fury, sorry, which at least sell for 130 gold minimum on my server. Now that comes out to 5,200 gold profit. Um, we have to take out, of course, you know, our original investment. And uh, you actually have a potential to make, you know, a couple thousand gold or 5,000 guaranteed gold profit. Um, off 40 of these now there are a lot on the auction house because a couple people kind of know about this farm already and as you can see prices are a little bit different uh, depending on servers but look at the regional average daily sold this item is, is in such high demand right now if you look at it it's crazy so that's really all you need to know about this farm it's really just you running back and forth between a mailbox crafting items um, and listing them on the auction house if you guys found this video helpful or informative or you found it something, uh, go ahead and leave a like, comment, or maybe even subscribe if that, you know, is something that you're into. Also, check out the links in the description and make sure you guys have a great day. Um, I am going to talk about, you know, new content coming to the channel and stuff like that at this point. So if you're not interested in that, you can leave now. If you are, you can stay and uh, we'll just have a little bit of, you know, one on one King Kunta subscriber time. So, <clears throat> oh my gosh, is this uh, Belluar? Let's see. No, 
guess not. Nope, darn. Could have been though. Anyways, we I am thinking about doing a 24 hour live stream at, uh, once Battle for Azeroth launches about just kind of playing through the expansion uh, just for 24 hours. If you guys are interested in the idea of that, let me know and I might actually list it uh, as an event on my channel and I can actually start that live stream as soon as Battle for Azeroth comes out and then end it 24 hours after. So I will actually play Battle for Azeroth for 24 hours straight on YouTube uh, if you guys think it's a good idea. If you guys will watch it, then yeah, I'll do it. If you guys aren't going to watch it, then I, I probably won't do it because that's a lot of time to just like waste playing a video game all day. And I'm going to, just so you know, it's, li it's I'm going to have to like stock up on Red Bull before that. Also, uh, I really don't have anything else other than that. Uh, so just let me know what you guys think about the idea of me doing a 24 hour live stream, possibly, maybe. And uh, if you think you'd like it, let me know, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.